This is MiddleTennesseeMusic.com. I'm Joshua Smotherman. Today we're going to go over making a hip-hop beat in GarageBand on iPad. We've been playing around with GarageBand on both the, I the iPhone and the iPad. We've been having a lot of fun with it. When you, uh, when you open GarageBand, this is what you see, your song screen. You can organize by name or date. Tap Edit. You can then select one of your songs. You can share it to Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, iMovie, iTunes, Mail, or you can uh, make it a ringtone. You can duplicate a song. You can trash it. You can move it to iCloud. Now, I've already put something into place here, but we're going to open this. You would push the plus sign, create a new song. And this is your uh, mixing screen. If you uh, hit instruments, you can choose an instrument. You go get back to my songs, you just hit my songs. It'll automatically save it when you do that. And here's your transport panel. You can go back to the beginning. You push play. You can hit record. This is your master volume. Click that. You can uh, turn on Bluetooth and connect for jam sessions and uh, with your friends who have other iPads, iPhones, or iPod Touches with GarageBand. Um, this is your loop library. This thing is freaking crazy. Um, everything on here except for this track right here is all loops that I've manipulated. This is your... Uh, Track screen, you can mute, solo, change the volume, pan, echo, reverb. Master effects include reverb and echo. You can just go back, close it. Here's your setting screen. You can turn the metronome on and off. You can do a count in. before When you hit record, it'll count in. Uh, click, 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 click. Sound, you can change the sound of your uh, metronome, your tempo. Boom, 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 boom. Key. Minor, major, follow the song key, offer on, time signature, three, four, six, eight. You can fade out. You can run it in the background so when you close GarageBand, you can still listen to your mix. Uh, you can turn on Bluetooth so that you can get the airplay. The help, help is sweet. You tap around, you learn more. Here you can uh, drag this out. You get your volume for each track. You can so uh, mute and solo from here. You can also add a new track. This thing's giving me problems. There we go. All right. Now you notice I've got different song sections here. Okay. And you notice that C's at the beginning. This is how you work that. The little plus sign up here. You can create sections, add. You can duplicate a section. You can click edit. You can delete a section. You can also move them around. Boom, 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 boom. I'm done with that. So, I'm going to push play. Now, these are all loops. Say I wanted to add a new loop. I go up here and hit the loop library. See, I've got it on mallets, but I can go to instruments and choose, you know, a new drum kit, guitars. I can go by genre, rock and blues, descriptors. I don't think I've ever used this before, actually. Tap down, hold, drag out, create a new track. I'll show you how to manipulate loops real quick. You tap at the highlight, tap again, brings up the menu. You can delete, you can trim, you can split it, paste, copy, cut. You want to split, bam. You just slide it around with your finger. And then you can delete, delete, move around, move song sections, you drag the screen over. So, I come here, decide I want to copy that, come over here, stop, let's go to the beginning, paste that right there, push play. Now that doesn't make any sense, I hate the way that sounds, it's not even on time. So that's the basics, you have the undo button, go back to your instruments. I can, uh, this particular track is an audio recorder track, so I can change the effects on it, distortion, overdrive, I'm not even sure what's on this track, I'm just showing you things, noise gate off and on, but uh, this is a great program, 
It's totally uh, renewed my creative energies and I've been creating beats like crazy and I haven't done that in a while and it feels good. So there you go people, MiddleTennesseeMusic.com, I'm Joshua Smotherman, head on over to our website at MiddleTennesseeMusic.com, <laughs> we got how to's, reviews, interviews, all kinds of cool stuff going on, so check us out, we'll see you next time, peace.